Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 drones in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these drones you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. The Phantom 4 Pro is a quadcopter drone that boasts a rigid design and tall landing gear while it packs many interesting features and premium performance. So let's get straight into the action and reveal what makes the Phantom 4 Pro so special. Design-wise, as it is standard for the Phantom line, it boasts an all-white design with some grey accents which look elegant yet futuristic. Therefore, I think the manufacturer has done a great job regarding its aesthetics. You can choose this product in three different versions, but the one that we're currently reviewing is the DJI Phantom 4 Professional Plus, which unlike the other versions, includes a built-in display on the remote control, otherwise they're the same machine. In addition, the camera is on a 3-axis gimbal and packs 4K recording in a 1-inch CMOS sensor at 20 megapixels, which is also one of the best in the market on a consumer level. However, when it comes to travelling, the DJI Phantom 4 Pro does not fold down. You simply install the camera gimbal lock and protector and the quick release on the propellers. Now let's talk about its features. As we mentioned in the beginning, DJI offers many of the best flying features for the Phantom 4 Pro. As you might already know, there are following modes and other self-piloting features which will amaze you and deliver an extraordinary flying experience. One of the main parts for this truck is the remote control. Responsiveness controls are key to a successful flight as is the low latency FPV on either the built-in display of the Pro Plus remote which we are currently reviewing or your mobile device on the normal Pro model. Moreover, a single battery will net you up to 30 minutes of flight, but expect about 24 minutes in the air to be safe. To be specific, it has a 5870 mAh battery hauling around a 3 pound drone at up to 45 miles per hour. Last but not least, one of the best and most underrated features of the Phantom 4 Pro Plus is the camera capabilities, which have a good sensor and the video capture speeds are even better. 4K video comes in the form of standard 3840 by 2160 resolution or 4K of 4096 by 2160 but at up to 30 FPS. To conclude, the DJI Phantom Pro Plus is definitely a must have and if you're looking for a high end option that will elevate your flying experience to a whole new level then this is the best option you can find. At number 4 it's the Parrot Anafi. The Parrot and Affy would be a really good option for you if you're looking for an exceptionally compact quadcopter that comes with a 4K HDR camera and a long battery life which will allow you to capture wonderful photos and videos of your journeys. From a design perspective, the Anafi has an all grey finished body with a lightweight carbon frame that houses foldable arms and dual band antennas that will offer you a long distance flight range. Additionally, the carbon frame offers many benefits, of which the most notable is that it makes Anafi resistant to wind and crushes with a higher percentage range when compared with most of the quadcopters on the market. The other components include a smart battery, four high efficiency foldable propellers, an SD card and a quality camera that's attached on a 180 degree tilt gimbal, so I have to admit that this quadcopter looks and feels well engineered. But let's talk about its performance. The Anafi has an integrated GPS and GLONASS geopositioning system that makes this quadcopter smart enough to locate itself and when we add the fact that its operational range is rated at 2.4 miles it means that this quadcopter is definitely not a joke. Furthermore you can control Anafi via the included controller and the Free Flight 6 mobile app that's compatible with both Android and iOS devices. 
to be more specific, you can choose from its numerous modes, including the cameraman mode that will create a rectangle around a specific object and fix the camera focus, the orbit, boomerang, parabola, tornado and the follow me mode which will offer you photogenic angles. You can also take an advantage of the Find My Drone, the Slow Motion Mode, Return to Home and the Geo Fence which will let you restrict an AFI to fly in a specific area. Another great thing that I like about Parrot's Anafi Drone is its speed that can reach up to 33 miles per hour and its battery life that can offer you 25 minutes of flight time which is enough to record 4K HDR videos or 21 megapixel photos of your journeys. Overall, the Parrot and Affy is worthy of considering because it's compact, durable and boasts truly breathtaking performance that will never disappoint you. At number 3, it's the DJI Mavic Air. The DJI Mavic Air is among the best, if not the best, quadcopters in its price range. Due to the fact that this device has everything needed that will guarantee you a fully immersive user experience like you've never had before. Design-wise, the Mavic Air is available in three colours, red, white and the all-matte black which we're currently reviewing. To be honest, regardless of your choice, all of them look unique and share the same functionalities, so you can't go wrong. Additionally, this particular model has an ultra-portable and foldable construction that houses a three-axis mechanical gimbal that's protected by gimbal dampeners, which will ensure that the 4K camera can capture and record flawless videos and photos. To continue, at the top, there are four high-speed propellers that have hinges at the bottom, which will ensure a safe landing, while above the main camera, the underside and the rear, there are sensors that make this quadcopter effective in terms of navigation. On the bottom you'll find a removable battery and four indicator lights that'll inform you about the battery status, so you'll always know when it's time for a recharge. However, let's talk about performance. Even though DJI Mavic Air comes with an ergonomic and foldable remote controller, you can also download the DJI GO 4 app that offers six quick shot modes such as Circle, Drony, Rocket, Helix, Asteroid and Boomerang, so each of them will be accessible with a single tap on your screen. Moving on, this unit also has an internal storage of 8GB, aside from the included micro SD card slot. I really like this due to the fact that you can save your content directly to the quadcopter. Moreover, the battery life can last up to 21 minutes per charge, which means that you will have enough time for capturing dozens of photos and videos. To conclude, the Mavic Air is a must-have, especially if you're looking for a highly foldable drone. At number 2, it's the Tello Quadcopter. Tello is an inexpensive and compact quadcopter drone that would really be a good option if you're a beginner who's looking for an easy to use quadcopter that can be used for developing your skills before you reach the stage where you can start using high-end drones. In terms of design, the Tello measures 1.6 inches in height, 3.9 inches in width, 3.6 inches in depth and weighs approximately 2.8 ounces which makes it extremely lightweight and portable so you can take it anywhere you go. Thus, when it comes to its aesthetics, this unit has a white and black combo finish of which the white is dominant at the top while the black is equally spread across its bottom part and the propellers that are protected by the guards will shield the Tello from hitting into a wall or tree. In addition, at the front you will notice the small 5 megapixel camera that does a really good job in capturing photos and recording videos, so looking at it as a whole, this device looks definitely unique. But now let's talk about the features. Tello can be operated via the included remote controller or through its smart application that has an intuitive user interface and many interesting features that will surely ease and enhance your control over the device. To be more specific, the Tello app will let you have the option to make 8D flips with this quadcopter, the throw and go option and much more, so you can download it and use each of its options. I'd also like to inform you that this unit is powered by an Intel processor and a vision positioning system which does a good job in facilitating a stable hovering. 
What I also like about Tello is its ability to fly 10 meters vertically and up to 100 meters away, while capturing JPEG photos and 720 MP3 videos. When we add its VR compatibility, it means you can watch everything in a first-person view. Finally, Tello can operate up to 13 minutes per charge according to the manufacturer, but in practice you may get around 10 minutes, but for the price you pay, this is quite good. Overall, the Tello quadcopter drone deserves your attention because it's affordable and performs really well. And at number one, it's the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. The DJI Mavic 2 Pro is one of the best options you can find on the market due to its high quality build and remarkable performance that will elevate your flying experience to a whole new level. From a design perspective, this unit boasts an angular body with four fold-out rotor arms, camera slung up front and a battery pack at the back. To begin with, this drone has 8GB of built-in storage plus a micro SD card slot that can accommodate cards up to 128GB and footage can be siphoned off to your computer via the USB-C port which can also hook the drain up to your computer for firmware updates. In addition, the controller folds down to around the size of a glasses case and while it generally shares its design with the original Mavic Pro controller, including an LCD panel for at-a-glance flight info and adjustable arms that hold your phone in place during flight, it now also features removable thumbsticks which keep its profile slimmer. Also, DJI includes cables for connecting phones via Lightning, USB-C and micro-USB, so whatever your flavour of handset, you should be covered. But let's talk about features. As with most camera drones, you'll need an Android or iOS device running a companion app to fly the Mavic 2 Pro. The app and DJI's OcuSync 2.0 gives you a live high-def feed from the Mavic 2 Pro's camera, and you'll also find it to be quite crisp and stable even when the drone is more than 500 meters away. Furthermore, in open and unobstructed environments, the Mavic 2 can track fast-moving subjects like cars and boats at speeds of up to 72 km per hour. Moreover, with sensors on all sides, it's nigh on impossible to crash the Mavic 2 Pro. Of course, unless you're in sport mode since the system turns all of these off. In certain flight modes, it'll even maintain a preset course while automatically maneuvering around obstacles, but only when they're in front or behind. Last but not least, the Mavic 2 Pro can handle up to 31 minutes of flight time per charge, which work together with a stable connection and sensors to give you a lot of peace of mind while flying. To conclude, you should definitely take the DJI Mavic 2 Pro into serious consideration, and if you have the budget for it, don't hesitate to purchase it, because you won't regret your decision.